mercy Oh, mercy Flows from Hi everyone! Hello, Hello Abby! Hello! 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 Hello. Um, I've got my Bible with me, but I've already wrote down um, the bits that I'm using, so that's why I'm not opening it. Um, but I've just brought it with me because um, it's called She Reads Truth, so it's a woman's Bible. Um, so that's where my scriptures come from, so it's, it might be slightly different. Okay. Right, I'm going to be speaking on uh, Ephesians, uh, putting on the full armour of God. I'm going to read snippets from Ephesians 6, 10 to 19. I'm reading from a version of the Bible, like I said, she reads truth. Mm. Um, so here is what it says. In every situation, take up the shield of faith. I'll repeat Come that. On. In every situation, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extingu extinguish all the flaming hours, arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit with every prayer and request and stay alert with all perseverance. Previously in the same scripture it states, Finally, be strengthened by the Lord and by his vast strength. Put on the full armour of God so that you can stand against the schemes of the devil. For our own struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities and against the cosmic powers of this darkness against evil. You notice that it states in every situation take up the shield of faith. Quite often we forget to do this though, don't we? We allow situations to get on top of us. We believe that we can tackle it on our own. We may do this as we may see the situation we are going through as just circumstance. Not a personal attack from evil, it's just one of those things. We may say it will be fine, However, it is vital that we equip ourselves with faith for everything, and here's why. These circumstances and struggles may seem minimalistic, but the thoughts we get from these struggles and in turn our attitudes come from the devil. They are wicked. Thoughts like, this isn't fair, this should happen to someone else who deserves it, I need to get a grip, and then eventually, I can't overcome this. These thoughts come from a place of judging others, or self-hatred and damnation. These thoughts are exhausting, which come from one, two, three, or more different circumstances we are facing, which we may see as too small to bring to God. The text says, in every situation, take up the shield of faith. Faith, God can, can and will help us. Finally, the text goes on to say, be strengthened by the Lord and by his vast strength. Let me give you an example of how this is relevant to me. The day I lost my sister Candice, so many people from my family were at the hospital. A lot, a lot of them were fellow Christians. I didn't see the circumstances I was surrounded in as evil or a scheme of the devil or a cosmic power of darkness. I saw my sister who had suffered with a long term illness all of her life now fighting for it. I didn't pray for strength. I felt surrounded by people who needed it more than me. My mum, my dad, Candice's husband and children. In fact the only time that I did pray was for her to be saved, but that was not God's plan. After she passed, I did not pray for comfort and protection or prepare myself. It was the next day that I was attacked by these thoughts. Like I previously said, the circumstances I was in had allowed evil to take hold of my mind. Thoughts like, why do I deserve to live when she was such a better person than me? I can't overcome this feeling of despair and I slipped into a regressive depression followed by anxiety. I had forgotten my faith in trusting in my father to help me through. I was exposing myself to this attack with no armour. I slowly began yeah. to realise through the care and love others were giving me, especially my husband, that God my father had been weeping with me. A 
And by putting my defences up and blocking him out, I was allowing the devil to dictate to me how I should view myself. Yeah. Mm. I knew I needed to fight. I picked up my shield of faith with the reassurance that God could and would see me through this. I put on the belt of truth that I did deserve to live and I was and I'm a good person. That my father had set me free. That I am a child of God and precious to him. I planted my feet in the shoes of the gospel of peace. In other words, the good news. That Jesus died for me so I can be saved. So I can feel peace. And how beautiful that peace was to me at such a time of turmoil. And that confirmed for me also that God felt my pain of loss after sending his own son to die. Mm. He could and would see me through this. Mm. With the newfound peace I was beginning to let wash over me, I could then pick up the sword of the spirit. Yeah. You know, you cannot fight your circumstances without first acquiring God's peace. Mm. The devil feeds on our emotions. Mm. If we try to fight our situations in anger, or by our own admission, we will fail. Mm. We need our armour, but our fighting must come from a place of peace and reassurance in who we are in God. Lastly, the helmet of salvation. As the soldiers of the Apostle Paul would suit up for the battle, the helmet was the last piece of armour to put in place. The helmet protects our heads, so I was protecting my mind from an invasion of thoughts intended to harm me again. Mm. Don't misunderstand me, however. I did have to keep making the conscious decision to keep refueling and putting back on my armour. It's not to say I wasn't hurting anymore, or I don't hurt now. It means I had allowed God, I had allowed God to take me out of despair. As Christians, we can experience upset, and that is healthy. But we shouldn't allow ourselves to be in a state of despair. The dictionary de definition of despair is the complete loss or absence of hope. But where does our hope come from? Like the old song goes, all my hope is in Jesus. Thank God my yesterday is gone. Yeah. So as Christians, we should never allow ourselves to be in a state of despair. Also, we have our church family. It's not just about reaching out to God. Any one of you ever has anything going on in your life, you can always come to me. Our upset and trials we sometimes face in life can also all seem to come at once. If it's not one thing, it's another. <laughs> just like buses, none in sight and then free turn up at once. <laughs> Who else can testify to that? Because I know I can. <laughs> However, it says in Meme 7, 77, God won't give you more than you can handle. Yeah. Also states, I don't pronounce this very well, so Barbians, I think, 3-9, if God brings you to it, he will lead you through it. Mm. We also have to be wary, especially as Christians, how we treat others. Sometimes the difficult situations we find ourselves in life are an outcome of how we have treated others. Galatians 6, 8, 10 says this, the one who serves to please his sinful nature, from that nature will reap destruction. destruction. The one who serves to please the spirit will reap eternal life. Mm. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Amen. Amen. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. I am not saying that all our hurt in life is because we have acted not acted kindly to others, or because we have sinned, that's far too extreme. But we should be mindful to treat others how we would wish to be treated. And most importantly, to love how God loves us. This ties in with putting on the armour of God. By helping others and building strong faith-led relationships, we are also equipping ourselves for warfare. Mm. Because these people who have cared 
who have cared for us, sorry, these people who have cared for us, can in who we have cared for, we can in return care for them. When we need them the most, they are part of our army. They stand up with us, like our church, unified in one spirit. Our families and our friends that we make for ourselves. I know my strength comes from God, but I also know he sent people to help me along the way when I am weary. My stepmom always says to people, that's net. God sent me Abby to teach me the art of cuddling and appreciate letting someone hold me. For those of you who know me, I am a hugger. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> Which came a shock to Matt and his family when they first met me. I think my husband is still learning to put up with this now. <laughs> but as a family of God, we need to build each other up and be prepared to fight for ourselves and each other when needed. To summarise, the Bible says this. On a church being a place where Christians can use their spiritual gifts to bless one another. 1 Corinthians 14, 26 reads, What then, brothers? When you come together, each one has a hymn, a lesson, a revelation, a tongue, or an interpretation. Let all things be done for building up. We must not only be kind to ourselves and our fellow Christians, but anyone in need. The people we meet off chance may be going through so much warfare and do not know God's goodness and love. They do not have an armour to equip themselves with. It is our job to inform them of our Lord and Saviour and in helping others, we often find we are also helping ourselves grow stronger yeah. mm. and have more faith in the words that we use ourselves and to take up the advice that we so often give to others. Mm. To conclude my sermon today, if there's anyone this morning who feels exposed in battle, you may be going through so much turmoil, or your buses have come at once, or you feel you keep slipping back, into your old ways of coping or burying your head in the sand and not making a stand for yourself and your purpose, I would like to pray for you to find peace and the strength to put on your armour of God. I would like to pray for you so you can find strength in coming to our Father and asking for his help and or his forgiveness. We wrote a song together um, when we used to have Authentic, which doesn't run anymore. And it's called All the Days of My Life. I think we've oh, yeah, it. I remember that. Yeah. Um, so I sourced the lyrics from some of my favourite psalm verses. Um, so the lyrics say, Under your wing I find peace, you're with me. And this comes from psalms. A mixture of verses which read, Under his wing you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield. How precious is your loving kindness, O God. The children of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. I feel that the message God wants me to get across with this word I have brought is the time to act and stand for him is now. Yeah. God needs me and you now to take up our armour yeah. and fight for our church. Yeah. Fight for our roles. To put aside anything that would seek to destroy us and to see ourselves as God sees us as precious. Mm. Mm. So if anybody would like prayer, I don't mind praying for you now or you can get me after.